Hi everyone. I hope you're not all very chilly. It's quite cold right now, isn't it? Today I thought we could share a story called Mog and the Granny. Trying to avoid the sunlight. Mog is someone I used to read about when I was little. Mog, Mog. One day, Mog was waiting for Debbie to come home from school. Mog always knew when Debbie was coming. She didn't know how she knew. She just knew. I wonder if your pets do this. When I come home, when we are at school, Bova sits in the window and she sits and she waits for me to come in. And then when I pull the car in, she rubs herself against the glass to say hello. I wonder if any of your pets do the same. They have a special sort of clock inside them, don't they? To know when things usually happen at the same times. Suddenly a picture would come into her, her head of Debbie coming down the road. Then she would go meet her. Debbie said, School's all finished for the summer. Mog, isn't that exciting? Mog said nothing. She didn't like things to be exciting. She liked them to be the same. Inside the house, everyone was excited too. Mrs Thomas was packing. Mr Thomas was looking for something important. Nicky was dancing and singing a song that he had made up. We're going to America where the skyscrapers are. We're not going by train, but on an aeroplane. We'll see all the sights and it will be very surprising because they have their days and we have our nights. Debbie said, you can't come, Mog, but you're going to a nice granny's house. She'll look after you until we come back. The next day, Mog went to granny's house. The granny was very old with very thin legs. First, Mog thought she had three legs. One, two, three. Then she saw that one of them was a stick. Debbie said, goodbye, dear Mog. The granny said, I'll look after Mog and she'll have my Tibbles for company. Mog thought, Tibbles? Nobody told me there would be another cat. At least he sounds quite small. Tibbles had been small to start with, but then he had grown. Here's a little friend for you, said the granny. Tibbles liked surprising people. And he liked Mog's basket. The granny said, don't be silly, Tibbles. Let Mog have her basket and then you can sleep on my bed. How do you think Mog's feeling right now? I don't think she's liking it, is she? She's had to leave her family. And now she's got, got to contend with a new cat, Tibbles. It can, can be quite overwhelming, can't it? Mog sat in her basket, but she couldn't sleep. She thought of her house. She thought of Debbie. Suddenly a picture of Debbie came into her head. Debbie was in a high place and there were even higher places all round. It was all too high. Mog didn't think that Debbie should be there. Whatever is the matter, said Mog. Mog didn't say that. Whatever is the matter, Mog, said the granny. You'd better come and snuggle up with us. That looks fun, doesn't it? Sometimes that happens with humans, doesn't it? If we feel a bit upset and we've had a bad dream, it can feel good to go and have a cuddle from someone. Or if you've got something in your bed, like your teddies, or a toy or a blanket that makes you feel safe, give us a cuddle too. A few days later, the postman bought a card. It's from Debbie, said the granny. She's been to the top of a skyscraper. Mog thought the card smelled of Debbie. Tibbles didn't have a card. He had tea and a saucer instead. He was very fond of tea. Tibbles had an open window instead of a cat flap. He had a yard to play in. Sometimes Mog and Tibbles played together. Sometimes they chased each other. Sometimes they liked each other. And sometimes they didn't. Again, it's the same with humans, isn't it? The same with people. Sometimes we play together. Sometimes we chase each other. Sometimes we like each other. And sometimes we don't. And all those things are okay, aren't they? The granny gave them nice food to eat. She went to the shops to buy it. They always had the same, but they always thought the others was nicer. The first time the granny went shopping, Mog had a big surprise. The granny no longer had a stick. She had wheels instead. How might this special machine help the granny? If 
if she has a stick, does that mean she can walk very well? It usually means she might need a bit of help walking, which can sometimes happen if you get a bit older, or can just happen if you've had an accident. Maybe sometimes you're born that way. This can make it easy at car tip. The mobility scooter means you don't have to put lots of work into walking with a stick. It can help you. It's a machine that helps us. She gave Tibbles a ride. What about you, Mog? said the granny. But Mog thought the wheels were too surprising. One day the granny put out her best teacups. She said, we're going to have a party. It was very hot, so they put the party in the yard. A lot of other grannies came. They were surprised to see Mog. The granny told them about Mog's people. She said, they've been all over America and now they're ending up at a special Native American show. The granny stayed a long time. Mog got very tired. She thought of Debbie and she wondered what Native Americans were. Suddenly, a picture of Debbie came into her head. Debbie was smiling at a big bird. Mog knew it was a bird because it had feathers. It had a face like a person. It was a person bird and there were more person birds nearby. Why was Debbie smiling? Those big person birds might fly away with her and hurt her. Are those person birds? Hmm, I wonder. Mog wanted to save Debbie. She did a big jump. Tibbles liked the tea inside him, not outside. Oh dear, said the granny. Oh dear, said all the other grannies. And your best cup too. Then they went home. That night Mog did not sleep in the granny's bed. She was too sad. She was still sad in the morning. She thought of Tibbles. Oh, excuse me. And the granny being upset. And she thought of Debbie and the person birds. Suddenly, a picture of Debbie came into her head. The person birds had not hurt her at all and said they had given her some of their feathers and a baby person bird as a present. Can we see? A baby person bird. Do you think it's a baby person bird? She was smiling and excited and she was coming home. Mog thought, I must be there to meet her. She ran out into the yard and across the road and down another road. And up a tree. After a time, the dog went home. Mog wanted to go home too, but she couldn't get down the tree. She tried this way and that way, but she was stuck and it was getting late and Debbie would be coming home. I wonder how might Mog be able to get down? I don't think I'd like to be stuck up a tree, would you? Mog thought, there's nobody to help me. But there was somebody. Quick, Mog, jump! And Mog jumped. We'll have to get a move on, said the granny. We haven't much time, said the granny. I think we'll just about make it, said the granny. And they did. When Debbie got home, Mog was there to meet her. We've never had such excitement, said the granny. Mog will have to come and stay with Tibbles again. Mog said nothing. She didn't like things to be exciting. She liked them to be the same. Wow. I know sometimes it can feel like that, can't it? Especially at the moment when lots of things around us are changing. Lots of things are different every day. Sometimes it can feel like, I like it better when things are the same. But as long as you make sure that you are talking about how you're feeling. You're making sure that just like Mog, you're letting people know if you don't feel good. Or if you feel really good. That's what matters, isn't it? Things might be different but as long as you make sure that you stay the same. Lovely class. That's all that matters. Would you like to see a picture of the author Judith Kerr? 
with her cat. This is who Mark was all about. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> How exciting. Thanks for sharing the story with me again and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.